feel some pressure here. Cool. So, we are about to head to Brooklyn and go get curated piercings. They call them constellation piercings. This means that they are going to like look at our ear and like figure out specific piercings for like what fits our ear. It makes me a little bit more nervous just not knowing what he's gonna pierce. Kind of like walking into a tattoo store and being like, go crazy. What is your official title? I'm a body piercer. I've been piercing for a little over 10 years now. I'm mostly known for like curating ears and mm -hmm. people's bodies, you know? But mostly known for like a more delicate approach to mm -hmm. piercing. We kind of map out people's ears, we go with people's anatomy um, as far as like aesthet aesthetically and even like lifestyle wise, you know? The whole uh, yeah. phrase that was coined constellation piercings or yeah. curated ear or... Yeah. I think it got called that because people put like are putting diamonds and like so they look kind of like stars. Mm -hmm. We call it like more of a curated ear just because like when we look at people's like anatomy you want something that fits nicely that looks natural mm -hmm. you know it's a more personal experience For sure. is what I'm getting it's yeah. more of an of an art form you know right. what the way we do it and the jewelry is changing too mm -hmm. like you know before you would you were stuck with like the bulky studs. heavy studs or hoops <laughs> I'm ready Thank I'm you. super yeah, excited I'm ready about too. this too. let's do it Had this, this is in my ear for 10 years. RIP. What side do you sleep on? Honestly, both. So, okay, cool. What side do you, what's like your side? Oh, my side. side? This, your, I put my hair side. on this side. Okay, I think going with what you got here is okay. a better move. So I'll mark you in a few spots, okay? So you can do like a classic second, but I'm mostly going for this guy, which is Skipping the second, going to a high low, the third. And I'm gonna say conch would definitely center everything off for sure, especially because you wear earbuds and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to line everything up, okay? Just focus on okay. me, alright? You'll be fine. Take a nice breath in. I know, that's it. How was it? It's okay. You like that one? It's so big, I love it. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. It's cute, it rests nicely. Oh, I love it. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I'm more nervous for lobe. <sighs> That's it, just lining everything up. That is it, I promise. I always think of the parent trap when I think of this. Take a nice trip. I just gotta put this stud in, okay? Mm -hmm. You need to put some pressure here. You can't go into a piercing thinking it won't hurt, though. It's true. <sighs> okay. Ooh, I love that. Te gusta? Wow. It looks really like just like a dome. So that's what we call an orbital. I did that because you kind of got this guy, you know, so it's yeah, a little bit yeah, heavier yeah. looking. Just it looks different. really fucking cool. Right? So, kind of like her, we can do the conch. We can also do what we call a faux rook, which is kind of like a floating rook. You wear earbuds? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, you can do what we call a flat piercing. I kind of like the faux. I like the faux too. <sighs> All right. I have the jitters. Just lining everything up. That is it. Take a nice breath in. Mm -hmm. That's it. You did it amazing. That's the worst of it. You okay? That really fucking hurt. It's so cute. Right? It's just floating oh, there. Oh snap. That's like a really cool spot. <laughs> Take a nice breath in. You know, good job.
It like, looks like a square almost. Like, I don't even know. It's like really cool. Cool. Oh my god. It's so much nicer. You like took like five pounds off this ear. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Awesome. Done. We're done. We're done. So we just got pierced. Uh, personally, I am feeling heat in my ear right now, but I feel good. It looks so good. I just like love the experience, like really all in all, like he just made my ears just like look a lot more simple and like put together. I feel like before it looks like I had a collection of piercings kind of, and now it looks like I have like everything seamless. And I feel like I looked at my piercings and I was like, eh, I have two ones up there. Now I like love my ear. And he just like made some some of the jewelry, like, you know, yeah. and he, like he just like cut like some of the jewelry and just like made it into something for me. Probably the best experience I ever had in terms of piercing. I just know so many people who've been like, I shouldn't have gotten a cartilage piercing or I shouldn't have gotten a piercer because my ear, it just didn't work. Yeah. Like he'll probably help like prevent that and he really does I think choose a place that will not only look good but it'll heal well and like and it won't get engulfed or whatever it's called melt that's the problem with like cheaper jewelry mm -hmm. is it'll essentially melt and get stuck melt? to your ear yeah he had to like snap them off of me I recommend it to anybody and I had the best experience <laughs>